Hi, welcome to a solid HST10 video tutorial. Now the turbine exhaust exercise in solid edge. Went again quite well. And I used bound, not blue surf for this part. So let's have fun with solid edge. Okay, I need some planes first, so let's go for parallel one to this one, and the distance should be 300. Another one, distance 320, and another one, distance 680. And another one, distance 700. And one with an angle, angled, so I want to use this one and that one as reference. And 10 degrees to, let's take a look at this side. Okay. Let's start with our first sketch on that plane right here. So go to home. No, the other one. Sketch on this one. In this case, I need a circle here and another one there. Okay. Now put this one, the center onto that plane, and that center onto this plane. Dimension from this one to that point right here should be 375. And that distance here, that should be from point to point, by two points from this point to that point should be 205. And then go back to automatic and this one should be 24 and that one up here should be 100 in diameter. Okay, I need a line like that and this one should be tangent here and tangent there. And in order to trim, I need construction line up here. This should be for construction only. And another one from this point up there should be for construction only and should be collinear with that plane. Now I can trim. So this should be removed. This should be removed. This. Let's move over here, this one, that part, and this one, and close that sketch. Finish, cancel this out. Now I want to make an extrude, a surface extrude. So extrude it 
that one and that should go to that plane and that is somehow not possible so I will do it with 20 maybe I'm missing something okay next sketch would be Oh, I forgot one plane, but I don't need it anyway, so let's go for that plane that's a parallel one to this one. And the distance should be 680 or 700, I think 700. Yeah, on the side, and okay. Now next sketch would be right here. I need a circle and the diameter would be 735, 735. And again I need lines, one line maybe like that and another one over here so it's snapped that's okay this one and that one should be for construction only and then I can trim this should be removed and that should be removed close that sketch make another extrude, a surface extrude that's the sketch and in that direction, no in this direction 20 and okay finish I need a sketch on the front plane so go for a sketch on the front plane and I need to project two edges into my sketch that would be the, this edge right here and that edge right over there and this edge projection that projection should be for construction only now a spline which goes from this point to that point but in between I need another point right click then add tangency from this one to that one and from this one to that one close that sketch finish and the next sketch should be on the plane which is rotated by 10 degrees and that would be plane 7 again I want to project edges into my sketch okay this one and that one and both of them should be for construction only like that and then let's go for a spline which goes from this point to that point at tangency from this edge to the spline and from that edge to the spline close that sketch and finish cancel this out now I need two extrudes extruded not a chain but a single curve from this one 
in this direction 20 finish and with that curve not a chain but a single curve single one so just this one deselect and select it once more like this confirm okay another try go for a single and now it works yes in this direction 20 and finish cancel this out now I want to go for a bounded surface uh, single or yeah, single would be okay in this case and that one this one and of course select those edges as well nice and I want to have tangent continuous to all of them and confirm and this looks pretty good finish cancel this out now let's stitch this surface to that surface to that one preview finish cancel this out and let's hide the last two extrudes like that now i want to mirror that so go for home mirror copy part this part right click with the front plane finish cancel this out great now I can do a circular pattern but first I could stitch those together let's go for stitched this one and that one and confirm finish cancel this out now home pattern i want to pattern that body and the sketch should be maybe on this plane that would be a circle and i need 18 instances close that sketch finish and I've got the first part of my turbine exhaust and I could of course stitch this together so go for stitched okay and try to select them like this and preview finish cancel this out let's hide that last stitch and hide those sketches and this one as well now go for a new sketch on the front plane and that might look something like this it's a straight line goes here like that add two fillets one fillet here and another fillet there okay let's delete that small line and set those two together and make that tangent 
this should be tangent and that might be already tangent but those points should be of course coincident this one and that one now i need a dimension from this to that line that would be not this one or that dimension I need the dimension from this one to this one, 160. This might be 253 long. There should be an angle. So go for an angle. This might be 22. I need a radius here which might be 190 another one there which might be 135 and the distance from this one to that one in this direction should be 33 and this point should be there but first maybe dimension from that point to this one and this should be 805 uh, that's what could happen so I will undo and now with that in mind push it here Now I should be able to change this to 805. Nope. There's no relation there. This point, that point should be sitting here. Now I should be able to change this to 805 yeah I will need an axis to rotate this so I will draw a line just in that sketch and make that for construction only close that sketch finish cancel this out and now make a revolved surface and this could be the axis and I need 360 degrees and finish cancel this out now let's show our stitch and hide the sketch and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.